Hello there, this is Liam Nils, and today I'm going to answer the question, are the unborn persons? Now many people have ditched asking the question, are they unborn human, because it's so clear that they are. And they've started saying, well the unborn may be human, but they're not persons. And so now we have to address this question, and the basic way to address it is to look at what history shows us. Now there are four examples of times in history where people have separated the concepts of humanity and personhood, which is what they're trying to do now with the unborn child. Now the first example is very well known, the Holocaust, what, what Hitler did to the undesirables that he had in his country. He separated uh, humanity and personhood and he said that they weren't persons under the law, so it justified him doing whatever he wanted. The other examples are also very well known, slavery, Native Americans, women, in all of these cases lawmakers decided arbitrarily that this people group were not persons under the law. They were still humans but not persons. And, and so we can see based on history that whenever there is a separation between the concepts of humanity and personhood, grievous uh, human rights violations and injustices occur. Now, a lot of people define personhood functionally, and they'll say something like, you know, the unborn child is not sentient, they're not conscious, not intelligent, rational being, and so while they're human biologically, they're not, they're not a person under the law. Now, the issue with defining personhood functionally is that our, our, our ability to do different things changes over time. We, you know, our size changes, our rationality changes, our independence changes. And, and as time goes, these, these uh, functions are in a state of fluctuation. And so once you define personhood functionally, philosophy professor Peter Kreeft states that you actually just give uh, power to those in authority to pretty much based on their own will and opinion, decide who is a person, who is not, who des deserves legal protection and who doesn't. And so that's the issue with defining personhood functionally. So just based off of this short time together, we've established that once there is a separation between humanity and personhood, personhood really becomes this arbitrary label that people can, can give or take, people in authority. So really, the only foundation for this idea of personhood is humanity. It's the only logical and intellectually sound foundation. The only way that you can explain consistently why this, this individual is a person, a human person. So are the unborn persons? Well, they're humans, so they're persons.